Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we learned about Zookeeper, where we saw what is the role of Zookeeper in the Kafka, and we also learned how the Kafka is dependent on Zookeeper for storing the many informations, such as who is the leader of partition, what is the offset number, current offset, message that has been consumed by the consumer, and many more. Today, we are going to learn about controller broker. So Along with that, we also learn about the split brain concept and then at the last we will see generation clock. So what is controller broker? Within the Kafka cluster, one broker is elected as a controller. And this controller broker is responsible for admin operations such as creating or deleting a topic or adding a partition or assigning the leaders to the partitions. So, in the Kafka cluster, as you know, there is multiple brokers are present and one of the broker is chosen as a controller and the responsibility of controller broker is to create or delete the topic or add the partitions or assign the leaders to the partitions and many more. Furthermore, the controller periodically check the health of other brokers in the system. So the another responsibility of controller broker is to periodically check the health or monitor the health of the all the remaining brokers which is present in that Kafka cluster. In the case it does not receive any response from the particular broker, it perform a failover to another broker. It also communicates the result of partition leader election to the other brokers in the system. So you can assume like that if one of the broker is a leader of that particular partition and suddenly it stop working working then zookeeper perform a election act as a election coordinator as i explained to you in the previous tutorial zookeeper is responsible responsible for doing the election to acting as a election coordinator and choose one any one of the available broker as a new leader so that type of the information is also get communicated through controller broker. Now let us see what is a split brain. When a controller broker die, Kafka elects a new controller. And one of the problem is that we cannot truly really know if the leader has stopped for the good or has experienced intermediate failure. So it is not give a guarantee that what is exact re reason because of that controller broker die. So the class cluster has to move on and pick a new controller. So if the original controller had an intermittent failure or you can say irregular failure, which is happening in a randomly, not frequently. And again, that controller come back or like get a life again, then the cluster would end up having so-called zombie controller. A zombie controller can be defined as a controller node that had been previously deemed dead by the cluster and has come back online. So what is zombie controller? Zombie controller is nothing but the controller which was acting as a controller broker earlier and suddenly it stopped working for the few time like few interval of time and again it come back online. So but when it come back online and still on the Kafka choose the another controller another broker as a controller new controller then at that point of the time it is called zombie controller another broker has taken its place but the zombie controller might not know that yet this common scenario in the distributed system with two or more active controllers or central server is called split brain so that is the meaning of a split brain if i summarize what is the split brain Suppose in the Kafka cluster, there is a one broker which is acting as a controller, but suddenly it has stopped working for two hours. And in between that, the Kafka cluster elected another broker as a controller. But after the two hours, again, the old one become online or get back in back online. So in that case, the old one is treated as a zombie controller and at that point the zombie controller don't know that another new broker is elected as a new controller so this type of the scenario or the concept we called split brain we will have the two controllers under the split brains 
split brain which will giving out the potential conflicting commands in the parallel so both are uh, is a like start acting as the leader and both are giving the commands to all the follower brokers or all the remaining brokers in the cluster if something like this happen in the cluster it can result in the major inconsistencies so how do we handle this situation to handle this type of the situation there is a concept called generalist generation clock split brain is commonly solved with generation clock which is simply a monotonically increasing the number to indicate the server's generation in the kafka the generation clock is implemented through epoch number if the old leader had a epoch number of 1 the new one would have 2 this epoch is included in the every request that is sent from the controller to the other brokers this way the broker can now easily differentiate the real controller by simply trusting the controller which has in have the highest number so since the controller with the highest number is considered as a genuine uh, genuine controller broker and the command of that broker or the controller will be chosen or accepted by all the remaining brokers present in the kafka cluster so the controller with the highest number is the latest one and since the epoch number is always increasing this epoch number is stored in the zookeeper and that number epoch number is stored in the zookeeper so this is the solution how to tackle the split brain problem so thank you so much for watching